you know, risk it all. Make sure you anyway, going on to our next game, we have oh, finals. Indeed. Two two very strong members of the boneless army. We got Moak versus Winter Dreams. <laughs> Listen, I'm calling them the bonus army. They come out and support my streams all the time. Shout out to both of these people. Um, so, look, this is a this is a weird matchup for Banjo for sure. Um, it's going to be difficult as well. Um, the most recent set that I can think of that Mike played uh, against the Crom was against Spiral KO at Bailrig, where Spiral KO ended up winning. Um, goes to testament to how difficult this matchup can be. Town and City is definitely the stage that both these guys will like a lot. Uh, for different reasons, obviously, but let's get into this game. One of winners, finals, who's getting into Grant, Mike, or Winter Dreams? Let's find out. Okay, early interactions, um, very much just kind of pressing buttons in neutral and hoping for the best. Mike getting a back throw here, and now Winter is at ledge. This is difficult because Mike is definitely dictating the pace of the game so far, Jasper. Oh, definitely, definitely. You can see the first many Wonderlings come, that hop we saw. Uh so many times in the Ramboss set and it's coming out just the same here. It's going to be so hard to uh, find punishes or even just like avoid getting hit but hit in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. um, with it, you know, no, Krom definitely has the ability to kind of, as, as you say, this is a weird matchup for Banjo. There's a lot of things that uh, Krom has access to. That disjoint is really, really good at shutting down some of Banjo's options. So really, really good recognition from Winter, by the way, a little bit earlier. Uh, air dodging straight onto the platform as it was actually appearing. Oh, this is big. Air dodges and just get there. Krom's magnet hands are kind of insane for his air dodge. Absolutely. I mean, and the, the thing you'll obviously is, uh, if you play Krom, you've got to... There's no way you don't get good at uh, some to ledge with those air dodges, because you just don't have the opportunity to do anything else sometimes. Okay. okay. Goes for that booster death tilt, not going to quite find it. Moke managed to retreat under the ledge real nicely quickly. <gasps> oh, I like that. So I wonder how that interaction goes. It'll be interesting to see if you go for the up B. I wouldn't just wondering just straight up here like that. It probably does. You'd have There's to your back air. So. There's your back air from Winter Dreams to take that first stock. Um, honestly, going a little bit against the Winter player, right? You, you, it feels like Mike has very much been dictating 90% of this neutral and Winter Dreams just getting big hits where they need to. Absolutely. Mike well, that's the thing with Chrome. They just they hit like a ton of bricks and they can just convert really, really efficiently off of every single one of their aerials. Mm -hmm. It can be a real scary thing to even even one hit can just convert to a ludicrous amount of damage or even a stop. Back throw. Okay, trying to get that lingering hitbox of the uh, of the Wonder Wing to hit, but it the invincibility of the get up. It feels to me like Moke is incredibly like innocent of what they need to be doing to uh, uh, be counteracting the soaring slash. But uh, Winter is just just as aware and knows exactly what they need to be doing to get around those countermeasures. Which is, it's, I, I, you'd love to see that sort of, <laughs> you'd love to see it. But those kind of uh, more advanced interactions where both players have a have a nuanced understanding of these like really, really niche interactions. Sure, sure. I said interactions like six times. <laughs> okay, Grenade's putting a little bit of pressure on Mike's shield there. Uh, Winter could definitely break that shield as well, but... Um, Mike slowing the game down a little bit. That back air just calling out the jump. He's going to be able to get back, but goddamn, that was strong. Forward throw to get him off stage. Oh, oh no. and he misses the ledge. Unfortunate uh, SD there from Mike. And that is going to be the stock. Winter with a pretty decent lead now. Honestly, kind of surprising. That was really bizarre. I think they might. They must have just thought that they actually just landed on the stage entirely and just. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, because the fast fall is there straight away as well. Hmm. Uh... This is this is tough for Mike now. This is really really tough. Yeah, this is completely tough. Oh, the pivot grab. That, that was nice. I missed. Nice. There. There's a wonder wing out of shield. Um, just to combat, but it's not going to kill. Yeah, Mike is going for a lot of those Wonder Wings at the ledge because of the lingering hitbox. That, ooh, could have been the jab back air. The counter! Yo! Kind of scaling out a little bit of desperation from Mike, I think, potentially there. Uh, he, was, he was on that uh, F tilt the first possible moment. Oh my lord! That Winter! That was sick. Winter dreams, man. Winter dreams. That was sick. That was Winter. sick. That last, that last stop from Winter, when it was kind of Mike having to approach, Winter played that perfectly. That was really, really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Phenomenal stuff. So, I mean, look, it, wow. you kind of saw the struggles that you saw the struggles that Banjo goes through in this matchup, right? Like, if they have to approach, they get punished hard for any kind of mess up of the approach, right? Um, 
it didn't really feel like Mike could play the slow game either. Like, Winter was happy to outpatient if needed, but then whenever the interaction came that Mike maybe threw out a bad projectile, Winter would just run in and, and get a lot of percent off that as well. So it's it's a tough one. I feel like Mike uh, probably wants to do a little bit more when Winter's at ledge. You saw the Wonder Wing come out quite often, but they weren't really able to get too much off it. It was kind of just being used. Um, so I'd like to think that Mike is definitely going to try and adapt a little bit more around his ledge play when, when Winter's on the ledge. I definitely feel, yeah, when... Um... When you think about how in any one of those situations, if any of those Wonder Wings would have hit, they would have been most likely a stock uh, in Mook's favour. It really, really shows you just how important that one aspect of the matchup is in this whole and how this whole thing transpires. Because if Winter can avoid that, then uh, their life just gets a thousand times easier. If there is allowed to play, like, you know, they're, they're a normal sortie, not a mm -hmm. one with this <laughs> hindrance of an upbeat. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so even neutral so far, but the dash that gets Mike off stage this is interesting now. How does Mike get back on ledge? Oh, I oh, love that scouting that from the so Oh my lord. Oh damn, that was cool. Winter just plays with such a like a such confidence in the way they move around and the way they like mm -hmm. go for their punishes. Like it's it never feels like a guess, it's just a I know you're gonna do this even if they don't actually do it. Yep, 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 yep. There's no hesitation in their choices. It's really, really cool to see. Oh, gets the parry, but those uh, multiple hits from there was making sure that it doesn't get uh, put it for it. And there we go. Lovely right grenade head. into forward air. Super strong move for that one. Super, yeah. super strong move. It's, it's like docks, but better in every way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gets the back airs out of shield. Now this is uh, this is a different. No, oh, never mind. I was about to say, Mike with a stock lead, this could be a little bit different, but <laughs> forward smash just hits <laughs> sometimes, you know. Catch you landing forward. with a forward smash. Forward smash it, it's not sometimes. exactly what you do with what you want to do too much with Chrome uh, when you're playing the game as per, but once you enter the, the <laughs> cyberspace, mm. it just becomes a <laughs> once whole Once you enter different the thing. digital world, it's a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, again, relatively even game so far. Uh, Winter with a nice little exchange there uh, at the start of that stock. Jab gets an air off it as well. This is nice. Winter is getting a lot off of any interaction that they get. <laughs> That's Down just the power it. of Krom, though, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> if yeah, you yeah. If you have that just stuff bad. down, you... Oh, cut their dash yeah. a little bit short there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see things that just by, just by a hair, so, so, so close. That any one of those could genuinely close the stock with that DI. Yep. Okay. Winter really good at kind of doing these non-committal aerials, right? Just doing it in a position where Mike can't get loads off. There's the forward tilt, hitting under ledge and hit, uh, catching that air dodge to ledge as well. So Mike, um, quite a bit down here. This is difficult, especially if you're Banjo, because again, it's kind of back to the, the dynamic that was uh, towards the latter half of that game one, where now it's Mike who has to approach and Winter's happy to play patient and capitalize upon any any bad uh, approach, you know? Yeah. And uh, I think it's it's interesting because compared to the previous set we saw uh, of Mike's, when when he was down, it was an issue of you know, oh now I've got to work with less Wonder Wings. But Wonder Wings have just not helped this stock this yeah. set so far. Yeah, they've just really not, not been connecting. Not. They've not been you know, applying pressure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Winners finals, solidarity. Oh no. Sometimes you got to throw out a forward smash. Sometimes you got to do it. Winner did it and it worked. Mike did it and it worked. That's just the look. That's just the quality of gameplay. High quality gameplay that you can that come have. to expect from Smash UK's bro <laughs> best you and brightest. You look to see it. Look, here's the thing. Sometimes you just throw them out and it works. Right. And Genuinely, though, you point. actually do. You, you okay. sometimes you have to do the the worst option imaginable because who's going to imagine it? Yeah, you almost you want you don't want your opponent to respect you too much <gasps> in that position. Okay, grenade kind of helping there a little bit. Oh, the forward tilt catching. Uh, before Mike can grab the ledge. Winter 2-0 up so far. Is this Winter's Finals? Did you call it Winter's Finals? Is that what you I did? I might adjust. It's did starting to look like it. you call it like Winter's it. Finals? I might adjust. Can, can neither confirm or neither. I think there's a bit of static in the Discord. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Dan I think, it. yeah. Yep. Dan, I think... cut the stream. Dan, cut the stream. It's the static. Dan, cut the stream. We're done. We're done here. Right. Yeah, we're done. Let's end up. I'm seeing, I have seen that bar go up, but we'll get to that after this game. We'll get back to you, lovelies, in just a moment. I'm gonna get. But that doesn't mean stop. Keep it up. Do keep it up. Loves to see it. Doesn't matter how much. I'm gonna keep drinking. Ah. 
At the death. Winter kind of shines though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like you no, we've been we've been saying point. you know they're doing good stuff. They're kind of doing sick. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, it's I don't know. Like I I watched Winter Dreams play and it was the same at New Year too. There's something about the way this Crom plays, man, where it's just the movement, it's... the the movement in particular is like the big thing, right? But just like every time they get a hit, they take it so far. It's so good. It's so good. So, okay, so we've got two options. As this goal down here is almost at max, we've got two options. Either I finish the bottle, or I finish these. There's four here. I'll let you guys decide. Till then, we've got, our, we've got game three. Is, is there any way we can have people vote with, their, vote with their donations? I'm gonna die. Uh, game three. Oh, game three. <laughs> it's gonna be a well read, it was worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> Technology has failed us. Okay, so... Okay. Mike looking for something real cheeky real quickly. Because that down tilt, that down tilt angle is going to be absolute murder for Krom. And we haven't really seen it being applied too much in these ledge situations. Um, in game one we saw you know, mostly the upbees, and in game two we didn't honestly see that many ledge trap situations arise for Moat. Um, oh, he's caught a jump. But it's definitely gone one, so he should be okay. Oh, very oh, nice stuff. Yes, Moku's so. still alive. <gasps> no way! Oh, Jesus. Whoa, that's we, not the, fair. The start, up, <laughs> the start up of the up B helping out loads for Winter Dreams there because, of course, that has its own iframes. God damn. That is uh, an interesting reaction. There so that's what Mike is. was looking that's for. That's finally. Nice. That's what Mike was looking for. So if you do that wonder wing at the ledge and uh, Krom's, the apex of Krom's kind of recovery, if it gets caught, probably curtains at that point. Yeah, it looks like curtains. you've got to do a little bit higher, uh, fade in a little bit out and then a little bit in. Mm -hmm. it's very awkward. So it seems like this is the first time in the set where like Mike's game plan is really working a little bit more. Right, it's, it was very much kind of adapt on the fly in the first two games because because uh, some of the kind of regular matchup knowledge that he had wasn't really working. But now that he started to get into it a little bit more, it's looking like um, it's looking like he could definitely take this lead a bit further. That being said, he's not been able to get a hit in so far in the second stop for winter. And Winter's playing this really, really, really slowly. They know that they only need to find the right hit. It doesn't need to be, They don't need to just find hits. They need to find the right hit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if they find a jab here, it's 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 instant death for them if they have their execution on point. Running forward mm. tilt. Yeah, that boost is so so scary with Chrome. Some characters just have it better than others. Mm -hmm. So, but how, how, what does Mike do in this position? Because like, yes, they have a lead, but it's probably going to disappear relatively shortly at 154 yeah, percent. Unless, oh wait, hold on. Rack up that damage as much as you can. If you get a ledge situation, push it to the it. absolute maximum. Yeah, Mike is playing so much slower now, but that <laughs> up tilt catches the jump. That was a nice anti air from, uh, from Winter Dream. We've seen too many up tilts kill today. <laughs> Shouts to Robbie AK47. Guy who donned all of them. Okay. The kind of guy who had, had some good games versus this. Mm -hmm. They were certainly games. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The Bye. uncharacteristic SD from Winter Dreams. I think uh, I think they were trying to get onto that platform. I think so, but down, but I think they just missed it. Unfortunate, unfortunate. This is a this is a very different beast. But even with this massive, this pretty pretty damn sizable lead for Moke, I I, pre I really like that Winter doesn't seem like they've really changed their game plan whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like they know what they they need to do and they know what works. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's worked so well in the first two games, right? So, so well, and keeping so much control. Exactly. Okay, that fall in there. Dang, getting percent where they can, but up throw. Yeah, Doesn't go like... for a follow up up there, just kind of wants to keep on the ground and, and maintain stage control, which is interesting. No overcommittal there from Mike. Yeah, just look how slowly Mike's playing this game. Just playing a little bit campier, which you definitely want to do in this position, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's that's that looking like a shield break waiting to happen. Yeah. If that situation went any more, that was that was it. Oh, my oh, lord, the oh, yeah, nice the punish! Stalled it. The grenade stalled it, and uh, when it was able to get a punish from it. Oh, yeah, there was a lot going on in that interaction for sure. Sixty-five, 
Has to throw the oh. eggs. This is big. <gasps> there it is. And somehow getting past Shades the Wonder Game Wig. once again. Yeah. Just finding their way through an absolute blockade. Down tilt's really big there. Oh, oh what Lord, a recovery. They're so good. <laughs> what a recovery from Winter Dreams. Fane's air dodging onto the platform and just goes straight to the ledge. Very clever stuff. Very, very clever stuff. There's the forward air off of the grenade. And that's going to be the start. That's nice. Mike with a very, very decent win there. Uh, Brings it back on the board. Like, but, um, when Winter was doing Winter things, it looked exactly the same as it did in the previous games. When Moke was doing Moke things, it was so much cleaner and so mm. much, and everything was just clicking and falling into place the way that uh, it just wasn't quite the first two games. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice stuff. Hundred percent agree. Hundred percent agree. So. Are we just going to play the rest of the set out on town? I feel like both these it, both these players probably like, like town it. a lot, right? Uh, well, if you see both go to that top left, top right, top right of the screen, top right, yeah, you know. then it might be a change. Might be a change. Maybe. Um, okay, One. so we're getting a switch of some kind. Dude, there it is. Yeah, so we're gonna get a do we, uh, stage switch. I'm, we're probably gonna see probably gonna see a Smashville, right? If Mike hasn't banned that. Um, potentially, yeah. Um. It's it's a tough one because you know, these these are being in terms of uh, winter keeping in this it's being lost if if it, it's being won and lost on the ledge mm -hmm. so potentially you want some like a, you know you keep that large stage uh, like a Kalos or something like that yeah, as well yeah, yeah. to at least mix it up um, I can imagine that Mike's probably banned um, I would assume so yeah banned Kalos for that very reason right um, you might see a stadium or something like that man yeah yeah. Let's have a see. Let's have a see. Game four. And we're going to Smashville. Damn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, this is a really good stage for both these characters, right? I feel like Mike can really maintain stage control and center stage because of that platform. Um, basically having a little reef over him and limiting the way that, that Winter can approach. But that being said, this is possibly one of the best stages as well. So. Straight out of the gate, Winter. Winter piling it on. Yeah, big, big start here. Gets the down tilt. Yeah, I like the way that Mike kind of check chases almost with that down tilt. It's a really, really good option. Because they're not down. Yeah, well, well, Winter gets these here. Massive, massive combos that just do so much damage. Uh, Moke is doing such good, work, such good work leading every hit into a situation where he can get more damage. It's just this little incre it's incremental, but My question Winter for doesn't you. really have the opportunity to actually stop it. In that <laughs> tech chase, would a side B have been worth it? Um, I mean, it's a it's a commitment. You do lose a Wonder Wing, but like, sure, I don't see why not. There's not like in the position that Mike was in. I don't think there was many options that Winter could have chosen to to not get hit by that. You know, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, tries to oh get the dash back and dash in. He's really like Winter is really really good at that. They've done that quite often and got like a forward smash where you based on kind of pressure of a roll. Um, but Mike not biting. Mike not biting. Down tilt. This is big. Oh. Oh, that's probably going to be the start. Yeah, yeah misses the ledge. That and, is uh, really kind of not what... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, dead. there we go. I so just... this is the thing, right? That up till uh, shield stab in there. Um, because Winter was obviously holding shield quite a long time on that platform. And Mike just kind of dancing around and seeing how they were going to react to it. And uh, in their head. In their it, it, head. It always feels weird when you see that up till outside of a down throw situation. But it is... Mm -hmm. In those new situations, it is perfectly a perfectly yeah. valid choice that can do some really nice stuff. And that's the thing, like up smash might have been another option, but because it's multi-hit, there's every chance that they just fall out of the multi-hit, especially being on the platform. So up tilt was absolutely the right choice there. So good stuff to Mike. Okay, guess the dancing blade or the equivalent of whatever Crom's is called. Oh, yeah. Dragon, dragon, dragon Dra blades. Oh, that the, was the, so the, nice. The demon wing attack. But can oh my god can we appreciate how like ballsy it was to go off stage for that but the fact mike just knew how to recover he just knew yeah, yeah mike mike's recovery with banjo is, is too ah! oh, no! why okay, that yeah, was that was incredible that was incredible we've we started we've seen 
were to get messed up so much in that one in that situation, and they've just completely turned it's it around. Big. That's it. That's, that's got. <gasps> he almost just got caught by it again. That's that yeah, the balls on his band. Really the fact that Mok is still willing to go for it after that. <laughs> I'm so surprised that he didn't get that one to win. Two. Oh my god, he's just throwing he's them out. For it. Stop. Is, is, is this angry mode? Or is this? Yeah, I think he's just throwing them out because he wants to catch them. Dev. Catch. Oh. oh! Okay, okay. Oh my lord, that could have not, been it. Not quite close enough to the ledge to go for that. Okay. Dev, you live for him. I need you to go into his room and ask him. Is he okay? He, sure I don't think Mike. he's okay. Angry Mike is a good mic, man. Angry Mike is good mic, so I'm not <laughs> uh, going to be harsh with Nello. Hold on, though. When they've got Mike at ledge. <gasps> that was such That's... a brave option. Oh, he doesn't get the grab. But the forward is going to hit. Oh, my. Early jump. <gasps> he's, is it, he dead? He's dead? No, he's not. Oh, you won the wing. <gasps> that was yeah. so smart. Yeah, oh that's, that's the kind of thing. That's the thing that Mike has in that in that matchup. You can use Wonder Wing in that position, and it is going to get the kill a lot of the time. And because of the way Winter used it, like how far away they were from the ledge, that Wonder Wing was uh, that was a good pickup from. Mike. I want to really say good though, recognition on the play. I do want to say while that was us both so smart, that was also both incredibly risky because he was oh, on sure. stage. The fact he was on stage, if he jumped off stage, free, done, dead. But the fact he did it on stage, if he was a bit too late, which is possible on Wi-Fi, down the drain. Well, this is over. It, right? Because of the way that Winter was recovering with that up B, um, that, that side B was much, much safer uh, because he wasn't actually getting hit by the down, the downward kind of hitbox of that up B uh, too much because he had to. Yeah, well, that's it. Um, but really, really good recognition from Mike to adapt to that so quickly. And the reverse 3 0, police. Can you hear the sirens, boys? Can you hear the sirens? Or is Winter Dreams going to run from the police once again? Someone get this man away from me. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> open it up, Mike, in this game five. Uh, going back to Smashville, I think that's the right choice. Um, I don't think the stage was really too much of a deterrent in that game for to be honest. I think both the players benefited from the stage quite a lot. And Mike's certainly getting a lot more off it um, with these grenades and really limiting the way that Winter can kind of approach with aerials. Very nice use of that back there just as soon as that armor, armor finishes. Mm -hmm. Winter mashing that would be quite a lot. And there's the catch of the roll. Good damage. He's dead. Yeah, goes that's for it death. again. There's the air Not dodge. Quite. Wait. Think nice. we'll be able to get back to this, yeah. And Mike, yeah. that's the that's the position, right? Um, the, because oh, but well, somehow we can, okay, we saw it down here. That's we that's still. the thing. Um, you know, Chrome, Chrome's recovery pretty dooky. Their max air speed ridiculously fast. So if they use that air dodge, they oh. just go flying into. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fast ball from Winter doesn't end up grabbing the ledge, unfortunately, and that's a that is a big pickup. From Mike, he's one is looking a lot more confident. Looking a lot more confident in this game fight than Winter is, unfortunately, so far. Okay, throwing out a lot of hitboxes, Winter. Um, doesn't doesn't seem as composed as we saw in those first couple of games. Um, feels a little bit rattled after that one. Or it looks like that's the case uh, through their play. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. They could just be trying to switch up the gameplay a little bit more and throw out a lot more buttons, a lot more hitboxes, and see how Mike reacts to it. Um, but at the moment, these whiffed yeah. hitboxes are getting a lot of chip damage, and uh, slowly but surely, the lead is becoming more and more insurmountable. Absolutely, like it, as you say, like you know, look, um, they're changing up how they're playing. That's really, this is really the first time that has happened this set. Even when they've been, been kind of blown up by stuff in the past, they've just kind of stuck to their game plan really, really steadfast. Mm -hmm. But this, this is this is the first time we've really seen a kind of shift in how they're approaching things. Sure, definitely now. Good parry from. Oh, okay, here we go. How do they get back? They use the Wonder Wing. They have to at that position. The they didn't want to risk getting good, forward smashed. But... I've got one more Wonder Wing left, so let's see if we can get a kill with it. Yeah. Probably going to save it for a little bit, if not in a recovery position, at least when uh, Crom's trying to get back on ledge, which we're here now. Oh, Down to a sort of good resource. Right now, just yeah. so much efficiency. Yeah, it's a complete contrast to what we saw in those first two games. Complete contrast. It just goes. It's a testament to how well Mike can adapt to his opponents. Good that forward till there from Winter Dreams. Honestly, oh, right. surprised that didn't kill. I guess that's. <laughs> yeah. Another forward fill. That's going to do it from center stage. Okay. Winter down, but certainly not out. Takes one crumb 
combo. And we've seen it before, they've done it to Aperture, but now they can't do it. <laughs> now they can't do it. Now they're a full stock down. Mike, one stock away from Grand Finals. Absolutely. This is an absolutely massive turnaround and rever potential reverse 3 0 right now. <laughs> okay, tries to go for the down air, trying to get something cooking. Um, but at the moment, it is very much Mike's game to lose, really dictating the pace of it as well. Um, again, playing a lot more reserved, and, and Winter is almost almost biting a little bit too much. We saw in the first couple of games, Winter was happy to kind of camp Mike out as well and wait for the approach, but you, you can't really do that in this position anymore, you know? Honestly, it's kind of harder to do it in general in Smashville. It feels like... Yeah. I'm not sure if maybe this isn't quite the stage that we thought it was, because this is definitely forcing... I think it's forcing Winter into that mid-range more than they uh, were you know, kind of previously comfortable just, like, letting Moke, you know. Uh, sure. shoot off eggs and grenades, whereas now they have to kind of at least be in proximity to them. That's definitely just not what you want, because you're just going to keep, keep uh, getting tagged over and over and over again by tiny, mm -hmm. tiny hits. Ooh, that Smack definitely could have been led to the kill. 97% winter on their last legs. That's There's it. the down tilt. That's probably going to be the stock. And oh my oh! lord! Oh! Naughty! Wait Absolutely second. naughty. Wait a second. This might not be over. This parry into the forward smash. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, goes for a wild, wild forward. Try to get a back to us, <laughs> take it, I think. Do it. Yeah, and yeah. Mike moving in to grand finals of that Solidarity. Was very good. With a reverse 3 0 of winning. What a set. Good what stuff set. from Multi there. Go Alright, you know what? That's not how you You know what? You know what? That was amazing. That was a really, really cool set, though. I that was, was a big fan of that. I think just seeing how well Mike kind of adapted to the way that Winter Dreams was playing to the point where it almost broke down the way Winter Dreams was approaching the game, right? Because you saw in game one, it was very much a case of Winter being like, look, I know what you're going to do. I'm going to camp as well. Let's see what you do. And it got to the point in that game five where Winter was just frantically pressing buttons towards uh, some of it and trying to get a kill where Mike had completely completely switched on him so really really good stuff to mike for getting that win and getting into into grand finals but